Welcome to another color grading tutorial and today we're going to be working with the phantom mirror footage provided by the FunBot channel from the YouTube. Thank you so much Jose for providing this amazing footage. I'm going to provide his link in the description and on the screen. So check it out guys. Awesome stuff. So today we're going to be working with this shot of the guy squeezing gloves and really cool colored powder coming out <clears throat> this is really really cool shot so off the bat i want to tell you about one important thing when you're working with the slow motion cameras their quality uh in terms of dynamic range is very very low and in many cases they are very noisy so this particular shot is one of the cases even though if i'm gonna show you let's say log one it's kind of clean there's still a lot of noise let's check it out log two it's footage is pretty noisy so i'm just gonna stick to rec 709 which looks uh decent you know as a beginning point <clears throat> and um what we're gonna be doing today is realistically very simple let's go to the vector scope and let's take a look what's going on so we have yellow and we have red so we can see that red is over here that's all our red and that's yellow right over here let's see more of this stuff okay so we actually have a very very interesting color split we have yellow we have red and his shirt can be teal and this is what we're going to be doing today we're going to create a very nice complementary colors <clears throat> and this color grading relatively going to be very straightforward we're not going to be doing anything crazy so let me do a classic noise reduction as i've been doing before two and ten okay so i'm going to call this nr noise reduction I'm gonna create a new node okay let's take a look what's going on I'm going to work on a parallel mixer right here this one I'm gonna call yellow this one is gonna be red okay so yellow let's go hue versus saturation let me select the yellow channel just like this and you guys can see I actually can move it around and on the vector scope we can see what's really going on so let's have a very nice fresh yellow color just like that for the red let me select red just like this and for the red I'm gonna do the same thing just like that so let's check it out before and after before and after so the only thing i really have done so far just increase really saturation of yellow and red and i basically basically sort of even them out a little bit on the vector scope so now let me create another oops fat fingers now let me create this and i'm gonna call this one t t-shirt two t's can spell Ah, what's going on? T-shirt. Okay. And um, situation with our T-shirt probably going to be a little bit different because we have a little bit of different color gradients. But for the T-shirt, let's try using qualifier. So let me see. Let me select it like this. Um, pretty good job, actually. Let's make it our selection a little bit wider. Okay just like this actually like that looks great okay and let's see if we can finesse our selection just like that um let's make it a bit wider i don't know if it's gonna help okay looks like that's all we're gonna be working okay let's introduce a little bit more white okay like this and a little bit more black okay we, we sort of cleaning right now okay let's do like that 
Let's make it softer. Okay, let me see. We have a lot of noise going on. That's not good. But let me uncheck this and we're still going to do it and see how it's going to look. So anyways, let's go to the color wheels. And if I'm going to pull this down just like that, we actually start introducing a very interesting color split. We have yellow, red, and now we have teal. So we're sort of basically doing like a very interesting fork. Okay. And our selection is relatively very clean. I can see a little bit artifacts over here. But I think it's it's okay. We can We can get away with it. Okay, so everything looks great. Now let's create another node and we're gonna call this skin, okay? And for the skin, we're gonna do, let's see, we're gonna do a little bit of orange pop, okay? Just like this, beautiful. And for this, I probably gonna desaturate just a little bit like that okay looks beautiful so let's check it out before and after before and after okay so that looks great and now we can actually start doing uh, contrast and other adjustments if we need to so we have the paint going all over the place what can we do to increase the production value of it well, how about we're going to do relighting. So I'm going to call this light. And I'm going to do a feather gradient. I'm sorry, not a feather gradient. I'm, I'm going crazy. Gradient thing, just like that. We're only going to be working with the Luma. Let's see. Okay, like that looks great. Obviously, we're going to introduce a lot of soft feather. Just like that. Okay. And I'm going to add a little bit of light. Okay, just like this. Even though it's a very little adjustment, trust me, it gives a huge difference because we're building layers of light. We're sort of creating 3D dimension with relighting like this. Okay, so like that looks great. Let's create another node. And now I'm actually going to do a film look. I know it's crazy, but why not? So I'm going to do film look. We're going to call this film lot. And even though I contradicted what I was saying, I'm going to do a slight adjustment right over here. Let's go back to the parade. Just like this. Okay. Just like that. Okay. Like that looks perfect. Let's check it out before and after. And I may give a slightly more details into the shadows, just like that. So let's check out the whole thing before and after, before and after. We definitely have way more vivid, way more dynamic shot than it was before. So let's check it out. This was before, okay, and this was after. Even though it looks like a very minor, small adjustment, it makes a really big difference down the line, especially if you have something interesting going on in your shot. Thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure to subscribe, and we're going to be doing more color grading tutorials this week, including the Master Series. Take care.